Hi, my name is Jana Bringlevi Ekspong, and I'm the actress and screenwriter of Undress Me. Uh, a film about being defined by others. Um, and I want to wish the Teddy Award a happy 30th birthday. It's a really nice birthday to be 30. It's the best years. So, congratulations. Jana, thank you very much for doing this interview with us. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing fine. Thank you. Well, the movie Tal May won the Teddy Award in 2012, Andres Me in German. Um, <clears throat> and how far, well, you were the main actress in the movie. How far were you involved into developing the story? Uh, I did write the script. Uh, it was, uh, I read it several years ago before we filmed it, and it's about something I experienced when I moved back to the, my hometown. Uh, and it's like word for word almost. Uh, written down as I, how I felt it was, yeah. Why, why did you decide to make, to turn it into a movie? Um, well, I think at the point when I made it a film, I, I, I wanted a part, you know, I wanted to act. I have acted before in a short film and a stage production, and I wanted to do more parts. Uh, and then I had this script, and I didn't realize I mean, I, I didn't realize what it meant at that time because I was not really opened as a trans person. I mean, people knew, but I was not opened. And I didn't, didn't know really how it was to be trans. I mean, this was my experience of being trans, how someone asked you. And I really wanted the, the guy in the film to be the lead. You know, I, for me, he was the mystery and not me. Uh, and, and we started talking about it, and Victor thought I should be the lead. You know, it's about my story. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And it's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's still a process for me, I think, about coming out and, and really realizing that I'm a trans person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is a very personal story. It, did you have the feeling that that turning it into a film also makes you vulnerable? That it is sort of revealing something? Or did you rather have the feeling of empowerment, maybe? That it is sort of a coming out in the film? Um, I, I didn't realize, I mean, I've worked on short films before and never, no one has noticing them, you know? It's, uh, so I was a bit surprised uh, of the reaction. I mean, everyone, I mean, I was on TV here in Sweden doing interviews, and I was not really prepared for that. It was like, uh, but I mean, it was fun when the film got a Teddy Award. I mean, that was, then I could like relax because I knew it was a good film. Uh, before I was just like feeling like a freak because people didn't see the film. They just heard about it. It's not premiered yet. So they just wanted to do interviews with me and me talking about my story. And I was not really prepared for that because I thought the film deal with the subject in the way that how you are always confronted, you know, people asking you questions, people uh, makes you, they form you, you know, with the questions. You get your physical functions and you get, you know, you, it's like you don't, you stop being a human for a while and you're being this, phenomenon or something to be curious about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you already talked about the reactions to the movie and you said that you were on television in Sweden. What were the discussions that followed in Sweden after the movie came out? Um, I don't know if it was so much of discussions. Uh, uh, the, the, I only did these interviews about sexuality and my story and and I mean, Sweden is, I mean, it's happening a lot since the premiere of that film. It's, I mean, we have not, you don't need to get sterilized to do these things and um, uh, to become this gender you, you feel you are. Uh, so it's, it's changed a lot, but it's, I don't know if the film meant that much for the community. I don't know. It was like, it felt a bit like it was bigger outside of Sweden. Mm -hmm. What changed? You said that things changed. Can you name some things? Uh, I mean, like you don't get to, you don't need a sterile to get sterilized to be 
to be a woman, you know, you can have the gender, between, uh, what do you say? You can have the body parts that you want and still, yeah, you can define yourself much more now. Mm -hmm. And did you have the feeling that also the perspective on trans people changed? That, that there was a process in that as well? Yeah, and also we have, I mean, this is not the only trans film in Sweden. We had Something Must Break, uh, I think it was last year. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a big move, movement now, I think, for trans people around the world. Mm -hmm. uh, and did, did you have the feeling that the movie sort of was at the beginning of this new movement of movies? I mean... Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think it was a bit before or, yeah, we were like the first, I think. I'm not sure, but I think we were like the first and there were, She Male Snails was before us. Uh, and it's, I think it's nice because a big difference in all these films is taking up different angles of being a human because if that is what it's really are in the end. Mm -hmm. And you also said that um that you had the feeling that the reactions outside of Sweden were, were bigger actually than in Sweden. What exactly, what, what exactly was going on? Where did you screen the movie? How were the reactions there? Uh, well, first it was like, uh, we sent it to Stockholm Film Festival first, but they didn't want the film. And then the Berlinale took it up. Uh, so we had the premiere there. And and then Swedish television didn't want to have it, screening it first, you know, it was, like we were, but then TV outside of Sweden wanted to show it, like Art, uh, I think it's called Art, I don't know, the channel, culture channel in Germany and France, Green Art, yeah. Uh, and after a while, the Swedish television took it up, you know, it was like, yeah, I can't, yeah. And, and why do you think was that? I mean, do you think that that was transphobia within the Swedish media or would you say that it was just well that they were not interested in the topic or do you have any theory about that? I really don't know I mean I can just speculate that it was maybe it's the angle that is a bit provoking I mean she's not the typical strong lead character uh, in that way and it's it's more focus, I think, on the guy's reaction and on, on her as a phenomenon, you know. It's, it's really, and maybe that it's not what they want it to be. You know, it, they want the, oh, I, I don't really know. <laughs> then we have a guest appearance. Yeah. Um, but how far would you say is that provoking? Mm. Well, I'm not sure. I mean, it's. Uh, I, I don't really know how others think about the film, but it's the only guesses I have. And and sometimes I can feel that here people want you to be transgender, you know. And and I mean, I wanted a part as a as a mother in a film, and that the director didn't think that was a good idea. And it's like you get captured in one way. I think that's. The Swedish way of doing it. I'm not sure if it's like that outside of, of, uh, of Sweden. I mean, I never done a part in another country. I never tried for a part in another country. Mm. Uh, but it's, and I think Andres is really focusing on people's reaction, not on the transgender itself. Yeah. Mm. Coming back to people's reactions and, and the Teddy Award, um, what was the media echo, was there a media echo about the movie winning the Teddy Award? Was that somewhere to be seen visible in Sweden? Um, yeah, I think we we were in, in the local press at least. And I think we got a, a little mention in the daily press in the big newspapers. Yeah, but I don't remember if it was anything on TV or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And did you have the feeling that that it had an impact on you? To, to win the Teddy Award? What did it mean to you to win it? Oh, it meant a lot, you know. Um, um, it's, I mean, for one thing, it's always nice to have something to look back on. 
I mean, when you have your darker moments, you can always give comfort and you have a prize. We made a film that won a prize and it's always nice to win a prize and it's a big prize. We were so surprised because I didn't even know that we were nominated. And we got to this party and I started to realize that we have really good seats and maybe we're, what's gonna happen? And, uh, and it's also, when you put yourself out there, it's, I mean, like you said, it's a personal film, it's my experience. Uh, and to get some recognition for it, it's, yeah, I mean, it's like a comfort and it makes you stronger in one way. It makes you wanna go on doing more.